Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing with all Gucci makeup. We're going to be putting this full face together. So let me show you how I got it and what my thoughts are on a lot of these Gucci products. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today, like I said in the intro, we're going to be working on a full face of Gucci. I absolutely love luxury makeup. Gucci is one of those brands that just always does right by me. But today we're going to be doing a couple different things. I'm going to be showing you a full demo of Gucci products for this full face of makeup. I will also be doing a comparison of primers. I've told you recently that I love this silk priming serum that I purchased when the foundation came out a couple years ago. They have a mattifying primer now. I have oily skin, but I'm also 40 plus. So I have a mature skin and I needed to look nice and natural on my skin. So I wanted to test these two and compare one side to the other. So we're going to be doing a full day wear test on these. The only thing that I didn't have that was Gucci was the eyeshadow. So if you are interested in seeing how I put together this really beautiful, uh, cool tone, kind of glam look, go check me out on Instagram or TikTok. That look will be up there. Love, love, love how this look came out. So I started trying Gucci products uh, a couple years ago in 2020 and I quickly fell in love. I just love how they looked on my face. It just works for me. You know those brands that every single product seems to be like what your skin or your face loves. So that's kind of me and Gucci. Before that, the only experience I had with Gucci was fragrance. That was it. So I want to start with the first product that I used, which is the brow powder pencil. I've tried many eyebrow pencils. Right now I'm currently going through my benefit phase where that's what I'm using normally, but I pulled this out because I hadn't used it in a couple months. And as you can see here, you guys, it is so easy like that's what I appreciate about this pencil it's called the powder eyebrow pencil and that's literally what it feels like like I'm building out my brows and one trick that I've told you guys in the past is if your skincare is too dewy or your SPF is a little too emollient and your eyebrow pencils are kind of skipping on the skin just put some lay down some powder first and it'll dry it up so that you can go in with your eyebrow pencil I don't have to do that with this because it's literally in the name. It's a powder eyebrow pencil. If I want very quick, very easy brows, I mean, that's what I did here. And it was just so fast. I did lay down some gel afterwards, but it just put together the brows so quickly. And it's kind of making me want to go back to this because in the mornings, it I have like a whole little routine that I do. Um, So I do love this pencil. This is in the shade 04, which is dark brown, I think. But I love, love, love this. Now let's go ahead and let me show you the demo of the rest of the face. If you're new here, welcome. We like to talk about all things makeup, luxury makeup, indie makeup, drugstore makeup sometimes. But mostly focused on luxury makeup. If you can see throughout the videos on my channel, I do love to do get readies with me and I do like to talk about new makeup releases. If that's your thing during the video, if you're liking what you see, definitely give me a like and consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun here and in the month of December, we're uploading every single day. Okay, let's go into it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our base. Normally, I always do my eyes first, but I already did them. It's up on TikTok. So go check that out. So I'm going to start with a primer. Now I talked to you guys recently about some of my favorite primer and one of the primers that I told you that I actually liked for my 40 plus oily skin was the Gucci Silk Priming Serum. This is a hydrating primer. It's not going to mattify you. It's not going to control oil, nothing like that, but it's so refining and blurring. I really, really love it. But recently I picked up this Gucci mattifying primer with shine control. Now, I don't know how new this is. I hadn't noticed it before, but because I love the foundation and I absolutely love this primer, I thought, hmm, that's actually exactly what I need. Now, this is not a first impression. I've already been testing this primer for almost two weeks at this point, and I have some thoughts. What I thought that I would do, again, just coming from my perspective with maturing skin, oily in the T-zone right now, not so much in the perimeter since it's winter, I've dried out a little bit, is that I'm going to do one on each side. I already know that I love this one. This one I haven't shared my thoughts on, but I wanna compare both for you. So on this side, I'm gonna go in with the Silk Priming Serum, the one that I already know that I love, and I'm just going to work that in. 
I recently heard Rose and Ben Beauty, you know, Rose, say that she loves to use brushes to work in the product. So I'm trying it out. This is the Chantecai, what is this? Chantecai Cheek Brush, but I always use it for liquid highlighters anyway. So I've cleaned it off and I want to use it for the primer. Okay, I really like that. Like the brush really works the product in. Next, I'm going to go in with my Gucci Mattifying Primer and I just have a, again, a concealer or skincare paddle brush from, I think this is Fiera Cosmetics. And I will work the product in. Even though it's a mattifying primer, it feels really good and hydrating like the priming serum. It feels like, you know, a little cool and wet when you're applying it. It's a really beautiful uh, texture. Um, it does have that Gucci fragrance. They all do, but it feels so good. Take a little more for my forehead. Okay, so I put the primers on. It's been about three minutes and I'm really glad that I did this, you guys, especially on camera with you guys because I've been testing the matte primer and I had mixed thoughts. Like I didn't feel like it was mattifying me or doing anything extra than the other one did that I really like, but I had not compared them. So today that we're comparing them, it's been about three minutes. They both feel... They both feel the same. This one, the, the Silk Priming Serum is maybe just a tad more hydrating, but the difference is that this side looks way more refined. Um, maybe a tiny bit matte, but way more refined. The pores are blurred more than this side, which is crazy because this side, it looks really pretty. I like the way that it looks, but this side is visibly more blurred than the Silk Priming Serum. So, Glad I did this. We're actually going to do a full day wear test so that we see where we end up and um, how the, the face looks at the end of the day. But yeah, let's move on to foundation. Okay, so this foundation launched um, end of 2020 and I actually liked it right away. I thought it was so interesting because some people really liked it. Others thought it was really drying on their skin. If you had like normal or dry skin, you didn't like this for the most part. But People with oily skin like myself, the reviews were so mixed. People either loved it or hated it. I was one of the ones that loved it. I think it's very skin-like and it works well for me. This is in the shade 280 Cool, 280C. And that was another thing at the time is people couldn't figure out like what their shade was. Like it was really hard to pick out a shade online. But um, I actually really, really liked it. going to go in with my... It cosmetics brush. I mean, that coverage is really good. Um, it's definitely not full coverage. It's definitely not medium to full. It's a very natural. It's a demi matte finish and it is on the lighter side, but it can definitely be built up for sure. That looks really good. I normally don't go more than that, but I'll build it up just so that you guys can see the difference there. You see how it builds up very nicely? This is really the only area I would build up because I do have a little bit of discoloration that has recently popped up. So that's the coverage there. I think it looks really, really nice. Again, very skin-like. I don't have a Gucci concealer, so I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath. This is a brand new one, and I actually really like this shade. I went one shade lighter than the last time. Okay, so the concealer's done and I'm excited. You know, like that meme on, on TikTok or Instagram, like today's gonna be a good day, a good skin day. Boom, boom. Okay, so moving on. Now we're gonna go to a product that is relatively new to me. You guys saw me haul it in my Sephora Black Friday sale haul video, uh, but it's the Gucci powder. Everybody talks so well about this powder and um, I like it so far. Definitely very nice. I'm gonna take a, a sponge. It was damp earlier, but it's definitely not damp now and I'll use that for the under eyes and then I'll 
brush the rest onto the face but it is very nice and very smooth i think i've mentioned before in my videos that my under eyes are quite finicky they're dry under eyes and so i can't use just any powder under my eyes but when i was testing this stuff and preparing for the video i tried this powder under my eyes to set the concealer and it looks beautiful it doesn't look drying or anything like that so i wanted to point that out i'll go in with my bk beauty 105 to set the rest of the face I will say the only two products that were new to me are going to be this powder and the mattifying primer. Everything else I've used and loved for a long time. Okay, next is bronzer and you guys already know it's my favorite, favorite bronzer. I have a serious dip in the pan, you guys. Serious dip. I'm in the shade 03 and I love it. It's one of those like foolproof formulas that you know you can travel with, you can use every day if you want. Some people do. Um, it's just so pretty. The powder finish, it's not glowy, but also like this demi matte finish, like it's not super matte. So it gives the skin just that natural look to it. I love it. So natural, so pretty, such a natural bronze look. Look at that. I always grab a smaller brush. This is a rougher brush. And I like to just shape my nose a little bit. I learned this trick just like a couple months ago. You just kind of go, if you want a little button nose, you go in circles around the tip of your nose here. And it looks so cute. This creates a shadow to make your lips look bigger. For every day, I'm not doing any harsh contour or anything, so very natural, but it's also a really good bronzer to set a cream contour shade or a cream bronzer because it's so natural looking. Love it. Okay, and then the product that, you know, I have been obsessing over, you guys. It's so, so pretty. I love this. I need more shades desperately because it's such a good powder formula, but it's my Gucci blush. I got uh, the first one during the Sephora VIB, so look at how pretty. I mean, all of the packaging for Gucci is just so beautiful. I love it. So I have the shade Warmberry. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say this because I just love it, love it. I've been using it so much. So I'm going to take my BK Beauty 104. I'm taking a big brush and I'm just very lightly tapping uh, because this is a very deep shade. It's the deepest that they have and um, it's pigmented, but it still works. So I'm not going to sit there and buff it in too much. Very lightly, just roll it onto the cheeks. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, such a nice shade for winter. You know, those deep berry shades for winter. My God, I love it so much. This is a way, like, if you have, like, a deeper blush that you don't want to go too ham on, very like the brush is barely touching my skin just so that i can gauge how much pigment is there a little bit there i actually learned this tip from uh kelsey from kbj just take your blush when you're done your blush brush and just kind of sweep under the eye because then it will get rid of that harsh line between the blush and the under eye oh stunning this is beautiful i'm missing like a little bit of highlight but i don't have a gucci highlight i don't think they make one so i'm gonna go in with my ysl touche eclat uh, all over glow powder i know you can use this all over the face but i only ever use it in the high points of my face um just for a natural glow do you see that oh that's so pretty set my face okay so that looks lovely oh that's the thing you guys is there's certain like products and i guess today is a full face review but there's certain products where you know you're gonna put on your makeup it's gonna look so good you're gonna have a good makeup day and gucci for me is one of those brands which is why i wanted to do this video so the next thing i'm gonna do is a little weird i know but when i was buying the products that i needed for the full face i got a lipstick and it completely just skipped my mind that i needed a lip liner and so i didn't get one so we're gonna use the only gucci pencil i have which is the brow pencil and at the end of the day you guys literally you can create multi-purposes for your products so i actually did this the other day and it looked so pretty and i posted i don't know if it was a story or something on instagram and people were like hey what lip liner is that 
<laughs> so it was my brow pencil, thank you. Okay, so there is my lip liner. You know, it's funny about this. I was just doing my lip liner. I just got a um, lip liner from the new Juvia's Place Coffee Collection, and it's a really cool tone brown, and it looks just like this. So, I mean, whatever. So, the Gucci lipstick that I'm going in with, which, you guys, this is a new lipstick shade. This is in the shade The Painted Veil, and... Um, I am quickly falling in love with this formula. I don't have a lot of Gucci lipsticks. I only have three. I knew that I liked the formula, but I don't wear them all the time because I have Agatha Orange and Sophie Plum. So very deep purple and then the orange, the bright orange, which is gorgeous. But I don't wear them all the time. I wear nudes all the time. So now that I bought this lipstick, you guys, I am kind of falling in love with this matte formula. My favorite matte lipstick formula is going to be the True Velvet from Lisa Eldridge, but I don't know. I've been using this, and it is matte, but it's like hydrating. Like, it feels like a satin lipstick during the day as you're wearing it. It just kind of wears off very nicely. It's very, very comfortable, and I'm loving it. Okay, so there's the final look. I mean, more complexion, not eyes really, but yeah, I am loving, loving, loving this. Since we're comparing the primers, I'm just looking and both sides look really good. I'm trying to see if I can show you. This is the side with the matte primer. This is the one with the silk priming serum. They both look really good. I'm just like inspecting my face. So initially when I had just put the primer on, the mattifying primer side was a little more blurred than the silk priming side. But now that I have all my makeup on, they both look really, really good. So I will just come back in the next slide and give you my final thoughts on all the products and then show you what it looks like at the end of the day. Hey guys, okay, it's the end of the night. I'm really tired. I have been editing all day, just wrapping gifts, things like that. So I wanted to come on and just double check my complexion, see which side looks better. Do I need both of these primers or not? Again, I had the Silk Priming Serum on this side, the Mattifying one on this side. And um, so these side-by-side -side comparisons are so, so hard because Initially, this is the one with the matte. This one looked the smoothest. I couldn't see any pores. It just looked really good. Right now, the silk priming one, is it just got rid of all my pores here, whereas these are poking through. In general, my pores are going to poke through because I have oily skin, so they're constantly producing oil. But I don't feel like the mattifying side really controlled my oil any more than this one did. Again, I'm not as oily right now because of the winter, but I feel that because it looks less blurring than the silk priming side, and because it didn't do anything special to control my oils that much, I would say, in my opinion, you don't need the mattifying one. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's just a hair. This one is just a hair nicer. If you only have this one and don't have this one, I don't think you need to go out and buy the silk priming one. They're very, very close. I This is just me being hyper critical and looking at both sides. I don't think that I had to go spend another 60, 70 bucks. How much was the 60, 65 bucks? I think that this one was doing the job just fine. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. I still enjoyed this face of Gucci. I feel like in general, their products just work really, really well for me and I love it. So let me know what your thoughts are. I wanted to do the comparison because it's such a pricey primer, but it's just nothing compelling to where I feel like you need to go out and get this if you already have this and vice versa. If you already have this, don't go out and buy this you're still going to get a great result. So anyway, leave me your thoughts about Gucci Beauty down below. Have you tried their products? Do you like their products? Do you not buy from Gucci? Let me know down below. I would like to see what you guys are into in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any other recommendations for full face brand reviews, and I will start working on those. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!